What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursday, episode number five. Today, I'm going to show you how to reverse audio. Let's get to it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit play on our little loop right here, as always. So remember, take a listen, listen to what you hear, and uh, I'm going to hit play. All right, so the thing that we're gonna reverse right here is my cymbals or crashes, whatever you wanna call it. Basically, reversing a cymbal or a crash is mostly commonly used in dance and pop music. As you hear, it sort of, when you reverse a cymbal or a crash, it kind of creates this build-up sound that um, we kind of go for for in dance music and pop music. We like those build-ups to have, so you go from something a little quiet, have it build up to something huge. This is sort of a technique that people use, and for the most part, they use a reversing audio to create some sort of buildup into a certain section in your song. As you can see in my bin section over here, if you don't have the bin section, just open up your media button and go to bin. I kind of imported two symbol sections. So I imported symbol to reverse, I renamed it, and I imported it again to master symbol. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna go here, to reverse our audio is very simple. You just click on the audio you want, double click on it again, go to functions and go to reverse. And that reverses your audio. And now let's take a listen. All right, so there it is right there. Now, obviously it, I don't want it to build up in the middle of the loop. Let's go here ahead and hear how that sounds. But what I want to do is have that build up come just before this section breaks in. I'm just going to move this to the side here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. As you can hear, that kind of created a nice build up into that loop. Now what I'm going to do is add my master symbol over here, bring it in. And now I got my normal symbol here, not reversed. I'm just gonna bring down the fader on this one so it's not so loud. Now I'm gonna press play and it's gonna have a build up and then into a crash. Here we go. So there you have it. It's a little tip just to create some sort of build up or some tension in your track before a huge part of your song hits. Again, how you do it, you double click on your audio, you go down to functions and you go down to reverse. I'm Adam from I'm Music Mogul. Remember to subscribe, rate, comment, ask me questions, whatever. I will try and get to all your answers if you ask me questions. And yeah, I'll see you next week, guys. Later.